Hi peoples, Billy the Crayon here, and welcome to Red Feather Falls. I am up north right now at my uh, happy camper tent, uh, right at the campsite actually, and I am planning on heading down to this bait barrel here, and hopefully stick a bear full of love and joy, courtesy of my uh, snake bite. So hopefully this will work out okay. First thing you gotta do, put some scent eliminator, eliminator on. Check the wind, I'm pretty certain that it's going to be heading north. Which is part of the reason why my uh, tent is up here. That way I'm not downwinding any bears, so... Ooh, he's a big fella. I don't have too much time here, so I'm uh, just basically going to the barrel. Probably stick a bear, and that's pretty much going to be it. I'll refill the barrel. I have some... Uh, extra bait on me so I can refill it and then that'll be the end of the hunt uh, this barrel is at about 65 attractiveness uh, I have another one that is at uh, it's capped at 88 attractiveness but I'm saving that one for a special hunt with a buddy of mine I'm gonna help him bag his first black bear so that is the plan with that. But, yeah. Multiplayer. It's out. Uh, I know that... Uh, uh, first of all, let me just say that I think that Expansive Worlds did an incredible job working on the uh, multiplayer patch and when it was released, yes, it was a bit of a rocky release. And it uh, took a long time for, like, people couldn't play for, like, a day, day and a half sometimes. Uh, stuff like that. I did the best I could uh, seeding the, uh, um, seeding the torrent file for the, uh, uh, for the update stuff to try to help you guys out a bit uh, but uh, yeah uh, as far as that goes that is kind of normal for uh, for the uh, releases some people uh, seem to, to have been upset about it and everything, but honestly, that happens for any game that uh, they release a major patch for. There's times in World of Warcraft where, like, I'd be... Like, that happened plenty of times in WoW, where I'd be waiting for an extended maintenance to end and all that stuff, but... Uh, yeah, I think they did well. They, um, like, some of them stayed up, like, all night, basically, like, just at the office, just trying to work on this to get this up and running, uh, for everyone. So I, I think they did a, a, a pretty good job, uh, trying to cope with it and all that stuff. Yes, there was some, uh, unfortunate um, issues, uh, bugs and stuff like that, which they had to deal with. Um, they ended up, uh, but uh, the last couple, the last few days, or the last week or so, they've been releasing a patch, like, almost every day, or every other day, uh, with new bug fixes for this 
And some of them were some pretty big bugs too, but uh, yeah, they, they seem to got their uh, priorities straight. There's still some bugs I know, like for instance, my snake bite. Right now it says I'm carrying 47 arrows, which is a little much, but <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that. But yeah, I think they did a pretty good job, but one of the main things I want to do with this video right now, because I don't have a lot of time, I have to get ready for work soon. So, what I wanted to do was just talk to you guys about my plans for this multiplayer patch, because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for a, uh, um, waiting for a live stream, which hasn't happened. Uh, I apologize for that. Now, the problem was, like, the very first day, uh, it was out of my hands. The, um, the... Uh, update took longer than expected. Uh, they ran into some problems with that. And then afterwards, uh, the servers were overloaded and I couldn't get, uh, I couldn't actually download the, uh, the game. So, that messed up my plans there. And then the rest of the time, I was either too busy or I just didn't have the time for a live stream because... If you guys uh, seen my live streams, they're like, it's like a marathon. Like, I go for uh, sometimes three to four hours. So, yeah. Uh, it takes a long time and everything, so I can't just set those up on the fly and just do them like that. I have to actually plan ahead and everything, and uh, sometimes I just don't have the time. So hopefully I will be able to get one of those in for you soon enough, but for the most part I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, what my philosophy is for multiplayer and my reasonings for it and everything, uh, the way I want to experience multiplayer in this game is that I want to... Uh, focus on teamwork and playing cooperatively which I don't believe I can do uh, well, I don't believe I could do that in an eight-man server because uh, when you get eight people in a game there's, that's just too many people there's just too many variables uh, you can't you can't all walk around together and stuff, because people are going to be uh, uh, spooking animals and things like that. Uh, the question is who takes the shot and stuff like that. It's just too many people to deal with. Uh, which is why I'd prefer smaller hunts with maybe uh, two, at the most, three other people. And then everybody works together for a common goal. And that is what I would like to see. Uh, I see they have a, a multiplayer competition set up for Loggers Point. It's a multi-species comp. <laughs> and it looks to me like it's set up in a competitive manner. One of the things they even say is... Uh, challenge your friends to uh, a uh, the loggers point competition or something like that so it already sh uh, tries to make it look like it is a competitive multiplayer thing and I don't like that it, that to me is not what multiplayer in the hunter is about it should be a cooperative experience and that's why, like, with my uh, with my live stream, I'm not... Like, if I have an eight-player live stream, which I do plan on doing, I don't think I'm going to have as much fun as I would in a smaller hunt. 
because everybody is basically, uh, from what I've seen on those hunts, everybody is far apart and they're just basically doing their own thing in different areas of the map. And that's not what it's about for me. Like, I just don't, I don't get that. I can't wrap my head around that kind of gameplay. Uh, but I will, like, I have said that I would, and I will do that. Also, um, I've been getting a lot of messages from people uh, asking, in fact, I believe it's over 50 messages now from different people asking if they can, if I can hunt with them. Um, I hate saying it, but for now, the answer is going to have to be no. Like, it's it's nothing personal against anybody. It's not that I don't like my uh, subscribers, because, I mean, like, I love you guys and everything, but I just don't have that kind of time. Like, I can't... Like, there's... It's... Like, I, I'd only be able to hunt with one... With, like, a couple people at a time. And I can't... Like, there's just too many people that are asking. So, to be fair, I have to say no to everybody. So, yeah. Uh, now, that doesn't mean I'm not doing any multiplayer hunting, because uh, I have done some. I've done a game with Protzi and... Uh, uh, Hawkman, and that was a pretty fun hunt. Um, but, yeah, so I, I am doing some multiplayer hunting and everything, but right now, for the time being, I want to try to make it, like, just hunting with people that I know. So... That's going to be the thing right now. People that I know, or... I, I do like the idea of helping other uh, live streamers and YouTubers uh, get some exposure and stuff. Helping them out a bit. Because I want to try to... I want this community to grow. Uh, so I will, from time to time, be doing some hunts with, like I said, Protzi... Uh, I've done a hunt recently uh, with Slice Heart Shot. You can check that hunt out on my channel and his. And there's a few others that I'd like to do some hunts with as well. Um, so, yeah, that is my plan for that. All right. Looks like about 30 meters is the closest he's going to get. Oh, now he's coming this way. Is he gonna die right there? I'm pretty sure, because I've seen this plenty of times, where animals would uh, end up going into like water like this, and then they'd make it all the way to the other side, and then they die. Like they don't want them to die in the water, because I'm pretty sure. They can go in water that's deeper that I'm allowed to go in. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. It looks like I might have hit him a little bit back, though, from what I'm seeing here. And unfortunately, instead of the th my 300, I took a shotgun. So I might not be able to get a shot in on him once he's up there. Now we're just uh look 
back here. Not going to get another uh, kill in from this barrel. So I want to... Uh... Ah, she moved. Missed. That was a miss. Pretty sure that was a hit. That's going to be too far away to be useful. <laughs> Let me just see over there, though. It looks like he's down. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I figured he probably just walked over there and dropped dead, basically. Okay, that was a lung shot. And this was intestines. Question is, which one's which? Let's refill the barrel here. Luckily, that first one didn't spook the second. Want to make sure those are not barebacks that are uh, over there. I'm pretty sure the intestine shot was the female. Yeah, that's a right in the liver, and then I got a slug in the hit over the slug in the leg. This guy better be dead over here. So yeah, that lung shot was enough. He probably should have been he probably should have died like a lot closer to the barrel than he did with a, with a lung shot in him. But like I said, I'm pretty sure if they're mortally wounded and they're crossing water, I'm pretty sure it's set up so that they will actually get across. So yeah. Twenty-five black bears killed. Very nice. Yeah, that was a little high. I think I, I think I hit him a little bit too high than what I'd like to hit him. So there we go. Nice little spot. A two tree stand set up there, one's right there, and the other is over here a little bit. But, uh... But yeah, two tree stands set up there so I can hunt with a buddy. And I have two tree stands at the other one, too. And I have a ground blind at the third, uh bait station so yeah next time 
hopefully I won't waste so many slugs. <laughs> but that's going to be it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think if you want to see more um, more baiting or more bear baiting. Uh, I'd like uh, Hawkman gave me a really good tactic for hunting coyotes. I think I'm going to try that in the near future. Uh, not right now though because I gotta get to work. I just thought that I'd just uh, do this quick little video just to point out my thoughts on multiplayer and stuff like that. Yes, I will be doing a semi-public hunt. It's actually going to be a hunt only for people in my friends list. Um, that way, if anyone is uh, trolling or anything like that, or just being a nuisance, I can unfriend them and kick them from the game, and then that's that. They won't be able to join again. So that's the plan for that. Uh, I'd also like to do a second live stream at some point. One where I can... Uh, uh, I'd like to do a live stream in Loggers Point with uh, allowing guest members. Because most of the time, I'm not going to allow guests in my hunts just because they can only shoot mule deer anyways, and I don't want to only hunt in Loggers Point. So that's my plan. I'm going to uh, gonna try that at some point, but... Um, you just have to stay tuned, and I'll let you know when. But right now, I can't really plan these hunts out too much because I don't know. I got to be busy in the in the near future and everything, and I don't want to get your guys' hopes up uh, and set myself up for failure. So uh, that's gonna be it for now. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, guys, have a good one.